coming out of the turn. Tack at 3,400. Road speed indicated 62 miles per hour. Steady as a rock. A real barracuda. And road as slippery as the inside of a ripe banana. Very comfortable bucket seat. Integral headrest for relaxation and safety. Plenty of leg room, and I'm 6'1". Steering is easy and instantaneous. No drift or wander. The ride is very smooth and stable. Fully controlled. No lean, squat, or squirm. Takes bumps and chuck holes easily, without shaking the steering wheel. 1971 Barracuda is a driver's car. A car that combines uncommon beauty with comfort and as much performance capability as the buyer can handle. I'll finish this back at the barn. Here it is, a 60-minute road test report on the 1971 Barracuda, dictated by the driver using the new cassette tape player recorder that's an exclusive option for 1971. What else is new? Let's study the facts and learn how Chrysler Plymouth is coming through with the new Barracuda. First off, you can see there's a new look up front with new dual headlamps and new circular parking lights in the stone shield under the bumper. The new grills are exciting. CUDA here features a colored grill available in nine body colors. Very unusual. Ventless side glass is a stylish feature which also affords better visibility for driver and passengers. Door handles are flush with the body, adding to the streamlining and to convenience in opening the wide doors. The bold look with 60.7-inch rear tread is dramatized by CUDA's black paint treatment at the rear, with relocated backup lights as a safety improvement. Let's see what's inside for the driver and passengers of America's most beautiful sporty car. Barracuda is generously proportioned to accommodate four adults in comfort, with a full-width rear seat that's roomy enough for three. No other car in Barracuda's class has this capacity. Optional rally cluster includes a 150 mile an hour speedometer, odometer, tachometer, clock with second hand, and full instrumentation. All controls floodlighted for convenience and safety. The optional console makes the front compartment a cockpit with extra storage space that's always welcome. The locking lever for the door is neatly recessed in the inside armrest. And for 1971, there's keyless door locking from outside. You merely depress the lever and shut the door, and the car is locked. It's fast and easy, and you won't lock yourself out of the car, because if you leave the ignition key in the switch, the ignition lock warning buzzer sounds off to remind you. And inside those handsome doors, heavy gauge impact beams give Barracuda an extra factor of safety. The other beam you see running across the top is Barracuda's built-in roll bar. Again, it's an extra safety factor for Barracuda owners. Barracuda's all-welded unibody construction has important advantages over the old-fashioned body and frame method. Unibody is lighter, has better structural efficiency, more rear floor foot room, greater endurance, and less shake. What that adds up to is unibody can take it. What's more, unibody can keep on taking it because it gets the most extensive anti-rust treatments in the industry from Chrysler's exclusive seven-step dip and spray process. Now, one of the primary reasons drivers report Barracuda so smooth and stable and easy to handle is the suspension system, torsion air ride. Up front, it's the torsion bar suspension system that takes the shocks, bumps, and gravity forces, not the steering wheel in the driver's hands, not mushy coil springs like the competition uses. In back, it's the leaf springs with wide-spaced shock absorbers that soak up impacts for a smooth ride over almost any road surface. Here's how the six models line up for 71. Grand Coupe in hardtop model only. Cuda is offered in hardtop and convertible. With Barracuda, sixes and V8s in hardtop convert and two-door coupe. There's a full line of engines, too. In sixes, the Barracuda Coupe standard engine is the 198 cubic inch, 125 horsepower. The 225 cubic inch, 145 horsepower is standard in Barracuda. The 225 is also optional in the Coupe. Now in V8s, the 318 at 230 horsepower. 
the 340 at 275 horsepower, the 383 two-barrel at 275 horsepower, the four-barrel at 300 horsepower, the famous Hemi at 425 horsepower, the 446 barrel turning 385 horsepower. That's Chrysler Plymouth coming through with more engine choices than the competition. You've seen a lot of CUDA features for 1971, but what about the rest of the line? Well, the elegant Grand Coupe has special trim, the standard 318 V8 engine, and leather bucket seats as luxurious as any imported GT car on the road. What's more, Grand Coupe has a unique overhead consolette with three warning lights for door ajar, low fuel, and seat belts, plus a handsome preformed headlining for extra insulation. For the king of the road, there's Hemi Cuda, with enough goodies to turn on and turn up in the winner's circle. Look. Shaker hood, four-speed or torque flight, Hemi suspension, heavy-duty drum brakes, F60 by 15 tires, plus trim items, all standard. And for those buyers who want even more, Barracuda has performance options that won't quit. The hood with the twin scoops is standard on Cuda. The shaker is standard with the Hemi. And this year, it's optional with any Cuda model. Those hood locking pins are standard on Cuda models and optional on any of the other Barracudas. For the Trans Am look, front and rear spoilers. Add rear window louvers, and you have a mean machine. In addition, powerful road lamps, both smart looking and a necessity on rallies. And new stamped steel road wheels with the popular raised white letter tires. Smart. Optional elastomeric front bumper in choice of six body colors for the front and four body colors in the rear. The slapstick T-handle with torque flight floor mounted in the console delivers. You can slam through gears thanks to a built-in shift gate or let the transmission work automatically. The best of both worlds. Part throttle downshift is now standard on torque flight except with the 446 barrel and Hemi engines. A light jab on the accelerator for maximum acceleration. Flooring the accelerator is no longer necessary to downshift to a lower gear. This optional wheel has the performance look and a rim blow horn that combines convenience with safety. Another convenience option, the handsome luggage rack for travelers, skiers, and those wanting to add a little of themselves to their Barracuda. Two really great seat options, the 160 position driver's seat and the split back bench seat with center folding armrest. For the long distance traveler, comforts like these are hard to beat. Naturally, there's air conditioning, power steering, power brakes, and power windows for total luxury in a sporty car. And with any of Barracuda's radios, there's the cassette stereo tape player option with dozens of uses besides playing your favorite music. When it comes to the now look in sporty cars, 1971 Barracuda is a driver's car, a car that combines uncommon beauty with comfort and as much performance capability as the buyer can handle. Chrysler.